welcome to match 14 between Fujera and Emirates Blues for the Emirates D50 brought to you by Wolf 777 News. We're here having a look at the pitch and the ground. We're in Oval 2 and there has been an interesting game a couple of days back here where the team chasing had a spectacular collapse. The wicket looking absolutely flat again. There's a lot of dry grass on it. So again, the confusion for the captains is do we win the toss and bat first or do we win the toss and chase if there is any dew? There is a lot of wind blowing today, so there might not be a lot of dew. It's going to be very confusing for the batsmen. Emirates Blues has to win this game, otherwise they will open the door for Dubai. And they have been doing well chasing. So I think if Fujera wins the toss, they're going to bat first. And if Emirates Blues wins the toss, they're going to field first. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens at the toss. Back to you guys at the com box. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 2021 Emirates D50 tournament brought to you by Wolf 777 News. It's a warm afternoon, and we're all set for the toss between the game of Emirates Blues and Ajman, game number 14 of the tournament. To my right is Ali Shan Sherfu, captain of Emirates Blues, Mr. Iftikhar, the match referee, and Mr. Ahmad Raza, the captain of Fujairah. All set for the toss? Tails. Tails is the call by Ahmed Raza. It, is heads. it has come as heads. Um, right then, uh, Ali Shan Sharfu, you won the toss. What have you decided? Uh, we'll have a bat first. Of course, you're not 100% confirmed yet in the semi final stage. So, what are you looking at a target to set for Fujara this afternoon? Uh, I think we would be happy with anything from 250 to 275, and uh, hopefully, we can get a good target on the board and then defend it on later. Any changes in your 11? Uh, yeah, we have one change. Roof goes out and Punya comes in. All right, best of luck for today. Thank you. Ambon Razak, captain of Fujera, have to chase under lights. How do you feel? Uh, well, I wanted to bat first, but again, toss is something which is not in your hands. So, you know, you got to do, uh, you know, we got a ball first, so we have to uh, ball them out uh, to a decent score, which we should be able to chase it later on. Well, you mentioned a decent score. What do you think is good to chase under lights? I think uh, we've seen anything around uh, 240, 250 has been easy to chase under lights uh, and uh, now that we are bowling first, so I hope uh, Dew kicks in later on. And any team changes to your 11? Yeah, it's our last round game, so we are giving opportunities. Uh, so uh, Mujahid is resting today, Hafiz Rahman is resting, uh, Asfandiar is playing, Zishan is playing, Aryan Lakra has come back into the squad and so has Vishnu and well remembered. Well, you've done well to remember your playing 11. All the best for today. Thank you. Right then, news from the centre is that Emirates Blues have won the toss and elected to bat first. Back to the com box. Highlights of the first innings then. There were, there were plenty of low lights to be quite honest for the Blues. But this was a beautiful delivery from Aryan Lakra catching the splice of bat of the key player Alishan Sherfu. At first Aryan was looking good, square of the wicket nicely cut away for four. They looked like they would attack the new ball a bit. Anch Tundan as well nicely flicking that away to the fine leg boundary. And that was a nicely executed paddle sweep shot all the way for four. But this shot from Anch Tundan, my goodness, he'll have to explain that one to me. And a good catch taken there by the Fujairah skipper Ahmed Raza. And then after that, one big hit down the ground. He was feeling the pressure Aryanch and launched into it. Shanawaz Khan came into the attack and was carted over the covers. There was no sweeper for him, so they did take advantage of that. This was punched straight down to long off. Excellent catch there by Vishnu Sukumaran, nicely executing that. And then Atiku Rahman came in, hit a few lusty blows down the ground. Some going for six, some going for four, and this fantastic run out executed by Zishan Abed. Picked up the throw and a direct hit. Hamdan Tahir, the keeper, was excited, and rightly so. This time, the wind took it across for six. Didn't look like he quite middled that. But then uh, that went straight to slip. My goodness, Farazuddin, what were you doing there? Mohammed Wasim, the expression on his face says it all. That what kind of shot was that? Once again, the confusion between the wickets that the direct hits just kept coming from Team Fujera, but Nilanch was safe there. This was a very poor shot. Atiko Rahman sweeping across the line to a full ball. This was nicely executed by Vinayak for one of his rare boundaries behind point. Then Nilanj Keswani across the line, Mohammad Farooq, three wickets on the day, picking up just reward for some accurate and canny bowling. Sanchit Sharma coming in with his iconic yellow helmet. 
peppered that extra cover region for a couple of boundaries. Shana was giving him some width and Sanchit said thank you very much. I'll cash in on that. This one was an excellent shot again as well. Bottom hand coming through quickly, low back lift and going all the way for four. But at the other end, that big six was looking like Sanchit was really going to cash in and look to play a big innings. But then he chased a wide one and Mohamed Farooq took the wicket. And then Rahul Bhatia, the final wicket, caught a deep square leg.